Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. As you remember, we talk about the indication of uh, bubble test in first presentation. There are three main reasons for bubble test or immediate normal failing test. First, uh, rule out our evaluation of the right to left shunt, mean uh, atrium to the left atrium or generally right to left shunt. Any situation that's suspicious in that, we do it. Like, as you know, anatomy, if blood goes from right atrium to the left atrium, it can be. Uh, there are some uh, macro and um, uh, thrombose can form every day in the systemic, when it's systemic, and it can go to the left, right side, and then usually in normal situation, lung take them out from the systemic circulation. But just in case when we have any shunt from left to uh, right to left, in this case, so uh, macro thrombosis can go to the left side and through that cause systemic thromboembolism that can cause CVA or TIA. And if the amount of the blood shunt is too much, it can cause uh, dropping O2 saturation on the left side and cause hypoxemia. Another one, this uh, bubble test we use it is persistent left superior vena cava, and the final is when we have uh, low or not strong TR, and we need to evaluate pulmonary pressure by the peak velocity of the tricuspid regurgitation Doppler. If we have weak Doppler, we can use bubble test. Even in this case, usually we use Definity, but still we can use uh, agitated normal scaling. As uh, you know, we have uh, three results can happen in this situation. First, it will be normal. There is mean there is no shunt in from the inside. Second, there is a left to right shunt. Third is a right to left shunt. And finally, there is a venous anomaly, LSBC. Let's go see one by one. As you remember uh, from the anatomy and echo, in the, the, the entrance of the SVC, that drain the upper part of the body to the heart is at the junction of the posterior superior right atrium and atrial Exactly entrance here. And so the blood goes to the right and finally ventricle. Here you have to remember the entrance of the pulmonary vein to the left atrium. As you notice, pulmonary superior right superior pulmonary vein and entrance to the left atrium. Keeping in mind their location is helpful to diagnosis of two situations, especially AV malformation that we're going to talk about. Now let's see this patient. First, normal. When the bubble suddenly starts, and see feeling the right side. The right atrium completely, especially in the atrial septum side, is completely filled with the bubble. There is not any defect or lack of the bubble in any place. Yeah. And there is not any bubble in any moment in the left side of the heart. So this is a normal bubble test that means you don't have uh, any type of the right or left to right shunt or left to right, but we don't have it. Let's see how we detect a left to right shunt. 
Usually, left to right channel it can be PFO or ASD. In both situations, with optimizing image, uh, we can detect uh, the shunt. As you see in these two cases, we have this one prominent shunt from left to right, and here just small PFO that goes left to the right. Postal view and foreshortening of the apical. The most important to this type of the L2 R shunt is optimizing, as I say. Optimizing means decreasing PRF or color scale around between 20 to 30. 25 to 30 is the best, but it's dependent on the depth of the, your image, body habitus of the patient, your machine, all optimizing. You have to get it. Uh, the best optimizing for color and get the orientation of the image means the view that give you parallel jet to this ultrasound view. So in that cases you can detect very easy. In the bubble test, if you go back to that uh, previous or next one, as you see here, if the uh, when we inject bubble at this area. The bubble cannot fill it out because there is a jet and so push the bubble from this area. So you can see a defect at the bubble at this area and some part at that moment in this area. So we have a defect filling bubble on the right atrium in the left to right shot. That I didn't note and imagine what. Uh, here we have this patient, as you notice, when they inject suddenly almost two bits after showing off the bubble in the right side, the bubbles, many bubbles, at least more than three to five micro bubbles, show up in the left side. And if you focus on the tetraceptum that you should, your image should be focused, especially at this level, you see the bubble come from that intratraceptum and suddenly goes to the here, as you notice exactly here, came up there. Another point is not only the origin of the bubble come to the left side is important, the timing of the appearance is important too. In the, if, there is, if there is any shunt right to left, uh, bubble show up usually less than three bits after uh, bubble show up in the right side. Less than three bits after bubble show up in the right side. If show bubble on the left side, this is positive. Between three to five bits after appearance of the bubble on the right side, if it's showing the left side, it is suspicious. You have to show it completely. Those bubbles come from intraatrial septum, not to the, from the pulmonary vein. In this case, the same patient, uh, you can see not too many like this, but still you can see many bubbles after almost two bits, bubbles show, uh, uh, show up in the left side. The left ventricular is more. There you go. You can see there. This patient bubble show up right after coughing. I asked the patient cough, and right after cough, bubble suddenly uh, rush in the left. So in this case, we have left, right to left. Now let's see what happened in the AV. Uh, formation. In AV malformation, the bubble bypassed through the lung because we have anastomosis of arteriole directly to the vein, venul. So we don't have capillary so in many spots of the lung. So those bubbles can pass through the lung and go to the pulmonary vein and through the pulmonary vein come to the left side. How we can uh, diagnose AV malformation with bubble test in two criteria. First, macro bubble you can see present and come entrance to the left atrium through the 
pulmonary vein here. There, what? Wait here. There you go. Start from here, from the pulmonary vein and go up, not from intraatrial septum. But it's very, very tricky to detect the origin of the bubble. Most important uh, criteria is the timing. In AVA malformation, macro bubble show up after five bits of appearance bubble in the right side, it show up in the left side. So those two criteria, if each of them was present, and say the patient has AV malformation. And the last one that we use bubble or agitated normal saline test is persistent left superior vena cava anomaly. In this, in this anomaly is the most common venous anomaly, cardiac venous anomaly in the pediatric and adult group both. In adult group, in general population, almost half of the person of people, they have this kind of the anomaly. There are different variant and type of the PLSVC. I'm not going to talk in this presentation, uh, in uh, another lecture on pediatric echo, I'm going to a little again in detail. In this uh, anomaly, as you know, in the fetus, early fetus life, we have two superior vena cava. We are watching here from posterior aspect, right side and left side superior vena cava. In the early age of the fetus life, left side degenerate, it go become innominate uh, vein and the rest of this, this part regenerate and become ligament, we call it martial ligament. But in this uh, anomaly, this uh, vein doesn't regenerate and stay big and formed. So this vein, uh, left superior vena cava, go join to the coronary sinus and through there drain to the right atrium. Now let's see how we can detect uh, and diagnose with bubble test. First, let's see how we can see coronary sinus and how it looks like in the echo coronary sinus. In normal situation, coronary sinus uh, it location is atrioventricular junction. This is atrium and this is junction, atrioventricular junction, this circular shape as you see, atrioventricular junction, circular hypo or on echo structure anterior to the pericardium. Here is my our pericardium and this circular small anechoic structure is uh, coronary sinus and here this is uh, aorta, thoracic descending short axis of aorta or a little of this if you know this joint of a little off axis some kind of the twisting aorta show up there or it can be this one another st anechoic structure or fluid. Side of the plaques, we can see on the RVIT view, apical uh, to PZAX, not too much clear, but we still we can see those uh, coronary sinus. But the best spot for getting uh, coronary sinus in live view is uh, basal four chamber view here. As you notice, this is basal four chamber view. Just you have to from uh, typical uh, apical four chamber fan down, and suddenly you will see uh, at the level of atrioventricular junction a wet shape uh, that enter to open to the right atrium. This is your coronary sinus in basal view apical four chamber. Now. Uh, let's do what we have to do for this type of anomaly. Since the blood from upper left side goes drained to the coronary sinus, so the only way we have to inject uh, agitated saline or macrobubble or bubble to the left arm vein. 
when we inject uh, barbell to the left arm way, it goes uh, the barbell at this view, it show the barbell start and beginning at the coronary sign here. We first, we get this apical basal view. When we see the uh, coronary sinus, ask the assistant inject agitated cell into the left arm way, then you will see suddenly bubble start showing up from here and goes to the right edge. You know, in that case, we know the patient has PLSVC. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Up to next presentation, have a wonderful time.